I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mr. Front Range Gardener, Coloradans don't garden in February. They travel to tropical beaches and drink pina coladas. That sounds really good right now, but if you're not on a beach, grab a microbrew, like this video, and I'll tell you the things that you can do in your Colorado garden in February. If there has been little natural precipitation for a couple of weeks, your garden may need winter watering. If you have a nice sunny day with temperatures above 40 degrees, you can water. That's about 35 degrees warmer than it is right now. See my video on winter watering for more information. February is a good time to help some of our overwintering birds make it through the harsh winter. Birds like jays, chickadees, house finches, spotted toes, and many others live in Colorado year round. And supplemental food and water can really make a difference on their survival through the winter. You may have perennials like these geraniums that you are overwintering indoors. February is a good time to cut them back by about 50% so they grow bushier and don't outgrow their container. You can see that even though these are growing in a bright room indoors, they're a little bit leggy and they will benefit from being cut back. You can use the clippings to propagate new plants. See my video on propagating plants from cuttings. February is a good month to buy and grow orchids indoors. Mrs. Front Range Gardener has a series of videos on growing orchids like this one here. February is a great time to start planning for your spring garden. If you plan to grow plants from seed, this is the time to start a planting calendar. It is critical to know when the average date of last frost is. For most of the front range, this is mid-May. If you start seeds indoors, your seed packet will tell you the number of days until transplant. Subtract this from the date of last frost to find the earliest date you should start seeds indoors. Generally, that means starting no earlier than March or April. February is not a very active month in your Colorado garden. But February is a great time to watch more of my videos here, subscribe to my channel here, and if your green thumb has an itch, you can still scratch it in February for happy gardening.